pib squeaks, slow pokes, and stinkers, celebrating animal underdogs, by Melissa Stewart. Pib squeaks, slow pokes, and stinkers, celebrating animal underdogs, by Melissa Stewart, illustrated by Stephanie Laborus, published by Peach Tree. Everyone loves elephants. They're so big and strong. Everyone respects cheetahs. They're so fast and fierce. But this book isn't about animals we admire. It's about the unsung underdogs of the animal world. Don't you think it's time someone paid attention to them? Let's start with this little critter. The Etruscan Pygmy Shrew. It's a real pibsqueak. Look, its name is longer than its body. An Amarensis frog is even smaller. It could perch on your pinky with room to spare. How can these puny peewees survive in a world full of predators? with huge teeth and razor-sharp claws? Believe it or not, size is on their side. When hulking hunters get too close, our little heroes slip into small secret spots their enemies can't reach. It takes a Galapagos tortoise almost six hours to travel a mile. What a slowpoke! Most people can walk that far in just 20 minutes. Why don't these creeping critters get a move on? Because tortoises don't need speed. Their hard, strong shells protect them from predators. P.U. What's that stinking stench? Meet the Houtzen. This strange bird eats lots of leaves, and as it digests them, its body reeks worse than cow manure. Feeling sick to your stomach? Then you might not want to know about Zorillas. Their nasty spray is stronger than a skunk's, and the awful odor lasts longer. Should Houtzins and Zorillas clean up their act? No way. These stinkers are sending their enemies a powerful message. When hungry hunters sniff a whiff of a Houtzins body odor, they lose their appetite. And when predators smell a Zorilla's stinky spray, they skedaddle. Ever seen an Alcapi? If not, you are not alone. It's one of the shyest animals on Earth. Why does the horse-sized creature choose to live alone in shadowy forests? so it can stay safe. When an alcapi senses danger, it silently sneaks out of sight. Koalas and giant armadillos snooze for 18 hours a day. Boy, are they lazy. Little brown bats get even more shut-eye they rest for 20 hours a day. Should these sleepy slackers change their ways? Nope. Napping is the secret to their survival success. Because koalas, giant armadillos, and little brown bats spend so much time resting, they don't need to get as much energy from their food as more active animals. What's the world's clumsiest critter? 
probably the western fence lizard. As it skitters along tree branches, it sometimes loses its balance and falls to the forest floor. Thud. Why does the little lizard run so fast that it stumbles over its feet? Because it needs speed to catch quick crawling spiders and insects. Wouldn't you rather take a tumble once in a while than starve to death? In winter, a walrus's thick layer of fat can weigh more than 400 pounds. Seals and sea lions fatten up too. What a bunch of blubbery blobs. Think these plump lumps should go on a diet? Think again. Blubber helps walruses, seals, and sea lions stay warm in chilly ocean water. It also provides energy during periods when the animals can't hunt for food. Now feast your eyes on these curious critters. Or maybe you'd rather not. After all, naked mole rats are a real eyesore. They use their giant buck teeth to dig for tasty roots, and their furless bodies help them beat the heat in their hot desert home. Should naked mole rats rush out to see an orthodontist and buy a cozy coat? You decide. It's easy to admire animals that are big and fast, lean and graceful. You might even be tempted to make fun of creatures that seem slow or lazy or shy. But consider this. What seems like a weakness could actually be a strength. Every animal on earth, from tiny shrews and stinky zerillas to shy okapes and clumsy lizards, has its own special way of surviving. More about the underdogs. The Etruscan pygmy shrew hunts at night, using its long whiskers to sense earthworms, insects, and other tasty treats. When hungry owls swoop overhead, it darts into rocky crevices or huddles under shrubs. What happens if an amarensis frog doesn't have time to hop to safety? It sits still and hopes for the best. Its small size and earthy skin patterns make it hard for most predators to spot. The Galapagos tortoise can live up to 150 years. That means the super slow reptile has plenty of time to get where it wants to go. Digesting leaves is no easy task, so a houtzen has a larger digestive system than other birds. As bacteria in a houtzen's gut breaks down the plant material, they give off gases that make the birds stink. A zerilla has a lot in common with a skunk, but it's more closely related to a weasel. Its stinky spray makes a predator's nose and mouth burn. It can also make enemies temporarily blind. The okapi is closely related to the not-so-shy giraffe. Its dark body helps it hide in its shadowy rainforest home. The stripes on an okapi's legs break up its outline, making it even harder to spot. A koala spends its waking hours greedily gorging on eucalyptus leaves, but its food isn't very nutritious. Even though the fuzzy furball has a sleepy lifestyle, it still has to eat a lot just to stay alive. Giant armadillos 
and little brown bats are insect eaters that hunt at night. Because they rest so much, they don't have to eat as much food as other animals their size. The speedy critters that western fence lizards hunt can't survive chilly winter weather. How do the blue-bellied reptiles survive? By spending the coldest months of the year hibernating underground. Thanks to its thick blubber, a walrus can survive at temperatures as low as negative 31 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 35 degrees Celsius. During mating season, seals and sea lions form huge colonies on rocky beaches. The adults may go for weeks without food. Luckily, they get all the energy they need from their thick, fatty blubber. The naked mole rat may look strange, but its body is perfectly designed for life underground. Besides tunneling teeth, it has tiny eyes and needs very little oxygen to survive.